Good job, buddy. <gasps> Don't make sure he's okay, baby. Okay, ready for their second day of school. <clears throat> this is your cue to say me, 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 me. Okay, let's start this again. Who's ready for their second day of second grade? That sounds cooler. Why is the lighting so bad? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Are you ready? No. Well, you better get ready because we're on our way. Wake up. Wake up. No. Yes. You shouldn't be sleepy. You're in bed by 8.30. Wow, this fog is really messing up my lighting today. It is foggy outside, guys. Have a good day at school. I love you. Is the grasshopper ready for the second day of school? Look, yeah. you already got something on your shirt, child. Only you. No, because I'm good. Because you're good like that? See the second day of school dance. Boo. <laughs> That's a dance? My legs are dancing. <laughs> okay, well, have a good day, buddy. I love you. Guess what I just did, guys? I got to go cake supply shopping and to the grocery store by myself. I do miss my kids like crazy, but there are a few perks about them going to school. Like, this is one of them. I don't have to argue with them and tell them to stop pestering each other, and I don't have to keep telling them no 100 times when they ask me to buy stuff. So it is nice to go to the store by myself. It almost feels like a mini vacation, in a sense. I am on my way out the door to go pick up Xander, and starting today, he is a walker biker. So instead of riding our bike like we did at the end of last year, we're going to be walking the next two weeks while I'm going to be walking while he rides a scooter so that I can get steps for my step bet challenge because it'll be over in two weeks, which I'll be so glad for. <laughs> now that we're dead, just kidding, we're not dead. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm dead though. <laughs> it is so hot outside and I did run some, but then Xander got tired of riding his scooter, so I had to carry his scooter like a quarter of the mile home and I carried it all the way there. So he said he's not riding his scooter home anymore, right? No. Okay, you don't have to be dead anymore. <laughs> You're not riding your scooter home anymore? No. You can go back to the bike? Okay, well you can't leave me on the bike because I'll still be walking slash running because I need to get my steps in every day. I'm already over 9,000 steps, guys. Woohoo! And it's only 4 o'clock. Remember how I said it felt like 104 outside? Where I lied. It feels like 108. Oh, yeah! Are you the Kool-Aid guy? No. What gives you that idea? What did Jacob say you were? I don't know. What did you say? Capri Sun guy or something? The Capri Sun guy? <laughs> oh, my goodness. He does not know the 80s, honey. He doesn't. Oh, yeah, because he wasn't born in the 80s Duh. or the 90s. He was in the, what, what do they call that? The, so she's got some camo cookies. Yep, these are for Tristan's birthday party. Sweet. Have, Chicken butt. <laughs> I did it to you this time. I have a few extras, but you can't have them. Why? I don't know. No, I can have them. <laughs> you yeah. still want no, We don't have them yet, dude. Not yet. So, uh, I have a plan of something I want to do today, honey. What? You think it's going to work out? I told you about it already. Uh, we'll see. I shouldn't say it right now because there's a child in the room. And you know how that goes. <laughs> Wait. This is, no, it's not, no, stop. Nothing exciting. It's nothing exciting for you. It's exciting for all of them and for me. I enjoy watching it. Or do you, are you ready for it? What? Just say yes. No. You can't go, then. Yes. All right, he's ready. He wants to go. Go make some baseballs. Baseball to look at that. No! I think he wants to go, honey. Sounds like he's ready. <laughs> so they're not really wanting to do any kind of baseball stuff right now because their school days are like takes up all their day. And then when they get home, we're trying to get them in the r routine of going to bed earlier. As the see, as the as the school year progresses, they'll slowly get to have more. Uh, I guess get to stay up a little bit later or whatever as they get used to going to bed earlier and being in a better mood. But for these first like few weeks, it's they got to go to bed at a specific time so that they can get in the routines. And then when they get home, they're gonna have homework. This week they don't have homework, but they're gonna have homework. 
and they want to play with their friends and they have all their normal stuff to do like take showers eat dinner and all that so there's not much time so when I ask them to go for when I say hey let's go to the fields and hit some balls around I only want them to be out there for 30 minutes guys it's not like I want to sit out there and, and sweat my butt off so I want to go around seven o'clock after dinner hit some balls around they'll have some fun and then we'll we'll come back home and, and Go to bed. I sweat my butt off today. You better not be sweating your butt off. I wish I did. No, no, that. no. The butt does not so get sweated off. Hot. Did you tell him what you did? Yes, I did. Yeah, she's like still sitting in wet pants probably. Felt oh, no. <laughs> TM, TMI. Once again, Houston weather doesn't know what to do. It's sunny outside, but it's actually misting right now. It was just raining big drops a few minutes ago. And it's sunny out here. This is what a snake sees. It's crazy. Guess what today is? It's Taco Tuesday! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're actually doing it on Tuesday this time. I know, right? Normally, uh, it's like Taco Monday or Taco Thursday, whatever we tacos, feel like. Man. I'll eat tacos all day. Well, good, because you're going to have it tomorrow for dinner, too. Yes. Leftovers. I love leftovers. Me too, especially when it's tacos. Like tacos. <laughs> Batting practice. How do you do? Keep that back foot down. If it's high, don't swing. Do not move that back foot, baby. You can twist it, but do not pick it up. Good job, buddy. If it's high, don't swing. Hands at the very bottom, elbow up, bat up, bend your knees. Do not move your body, your back foot, baby. Good job, you still move that back foot. Look, good job. Xander obviously wasn't in the mood to bat today, so I think he's done. He's just tired. Second day of school, he's he's still not on schedule yet. He's exhausted, so he's about to go home, take a shower, and go to bed. But we're going to see what Jacob can do first. Okay, hit him hard, Jacob. You got that new bat. Show us what it can do. <gasps> oh my god. I cannot handle this. I like that one, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Eric, you need some protective gear, please. You need protective gear on. You're waiting too late, dude. Hit it when it's in front of the plate. Where was that back foot? No. Oh man. Oh man. Come on, dude. It was out. You're aiming for the ditch. Better. Oh, no. No. Yes. no. Yeah. Especially when they're by my phone. Oh, run. Put my phone in the pocket so they don't oh, get all wet. Run. No, it wasn't, dude. <laughs> Why did you swing at that? Okay, oh, we're going through a bag of good balls now. Yay! What's Could the you difference? Swing the bat properly, please. Yeah. Come on, be ready. Got them in warm up. Get in there real quick. I don't come out here and waste my time for nothing. Get your bat. Don't let your bat sit on their shoulders, Jacob. Come on. I almost hit a bird.
Run, hit me. No. What? <gasps> 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 Don't. Make sure he's okay, baby. Are you okay? Go. Check on him. Hey guys, he hit the ball hard finally. Did you see that? Kind of hurts a little bit. Amy, Amy's not the happiest with me right I'm now. Not. She's like about to cry over here. How many times has he almost hurt you really bad, and I keep <laughs> telling you to do something about it? You pitch to him way too close. You have nothing to protect. He you. really, he really drilled me this time. Actually, like I actually almost passed out. <laughs> what happens if he hits you in the head? You I'd probably pass out. No, you would die. No, I can kill you. It would just be a concussion. No. He doesn't hit that hard all the it's time, not, honey. I don't, why do you think this is a joke? Okay, matter? guys, for real though. It's not a joking matter. It is very dangerous to pitch to somebody with a bat. And I was just I not bad. paying attention very well. And Amy keeps telling me to buy a pop-up ill screen or something, which we obviously need to do. Um, with Jacob starting to swing the bat a little harder. Oh, I, like yeah. that whole time though, I really wasn't happy with how he was swinging the bat. I kept, I was getting onto him every so often in between these clips that you saw. I was getting on to him and telling him, hey, you have to swing the bat harder. You have to swing faster. Your bat speed has to pick up. I know a lot of you have been pointed out in, this, in the YouTube videos and everything that we're not teaching bat speed, but that's not what I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to teach all the fundamentals first. And when we say swing with the knob, we're not saying hit the ball with the knob. It's come through with the knob. Like you're leading, it's like you're throwing your hands at the ball. It's the same thing. It's the same kind of thing. Same concept. You're putting the knob out first. You're staying behind your bat. You're loading up on that back leg and you're swinging hard. Once I see him doing that, that's when I want to start concentrating on his bat speed. But today I started just kind of fussing at him in between saying, you gotta have faster bat speed. You gotta have faster bat speed. You got it, honey. Um, my arm. I want. I'll show you better when we get home. But, but now, I'm, I'm trying to decide if we need to go get X-rays or not. It hurts real bad. It hurts bad enough that the pain initially almost made me pass out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. It did hurt. So I'm kind of afraid that it might have like fractured something. And we're fixing to go to Disney World in two weeks. So I'm not real happy about that. Amy says I can't ride rides. No, I can ride rides with a broken. If anything, having a broken arm gets to move us to the front of the line because I get the pass no, to go up to the side. I honestly think there are some rides that you cannot ride a ride with a broken arm. Well, I can ride the majority of stuff I like. You can't ride rock and roller coaster. I don't want to ride that. I don't like rock and roller coaster, so it doesn't that didn't affect me. Terror. I can ride Tower of Terror with that. Yes, I can. Hopefully, the rules don't say you can't. We'll see. We'll have to figure. And if so, then I'm just gonna say it's not broken, and we're gonna go have fun at Disney, and then when we get back, I'll complain that it's broken. Have a cash. So I'll wait. Take the cast off no, I'll just wait. Weeks. I'll wait. Where are we at, honey? We're not at home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, can you shut him up now? <laughs> it's not funny. Let me see your elbow. <laughs> we got some nice stitches right there. Mm -hmm. We're getting x rays. Because Amy got mad at me because I said one of her cakes was nasty and she. I'm no, they know what happened. They <laughs> saw it. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and heard me go, <gasps> Eric obviously can't read and follow directions. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Do you get your x-rays done? Huh? Do you get your x-rays done? I got my x-rays done. And did it hurt? Yeah, it did. And I, and I had this in my pocket, so I was like holding the camera up like this. So hey, we'll see if that footage turned out good or not. But just so you can kind of see what I went through. <laughs> Only you would have thought to have brought that, honey. I know. It's, Thank you. it's not broken. Thanks. Bye. No it's, breaks. No yay. breaks. Just badly bruised. Yeah. They said if it, can do, if it still hurts, like for a few days or whatever, then go uh, get an MRI. I don't want an MRI. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm about to jump in the shower, take a quick shower, go to bed. Um, it ended up being just a deep bone bruise. Uh, it's got some swelling still. There's like a lump still in the arm. I'll show you guys in a minute. And he, the doctors, like I said, told us that if it continues to hurt, we need to go see my primary care doctor, which I don't have a primary care doctor. And they said to, to run some like MRI test on it because there's no damage to the bone that they could see. And that's what we got. So tomorrow I'm either going to work from home or take the day off. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to try to work, see what I can do with my right arm because it's, like I said, it's pretty sore. Like I can get it straightened out here like that. But you can kind of see that little indention right there. That's where it starts to hurt. And then down into like where it's swollen right through here. <laughs> it doesn't feel the best. I can't extend any further than that. If I go to a twist, that's where it's hard. You can kind of, you can see that lump right there on the, side, on the back side right there. 
it is a uh, doesn't feel the best we'll say that <laughs> but hey it's all good there's no break and we're going to Disney World in less than two weeks I can't wait it's gonna be so fun I won't even be thinking about any pain so that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog make sure you leave it a thumbs up I would lift my arm up but it kind of it's kind of sore you guys you you understand right it's kind of sore so I'm just gonna leave it hanging down right now but leave a thumbs up Leave a comment down below uh, talking about whatever you want to talk about. Hopefully it was something to do with the vlog or maybe how your first day of school was or anything else. Just let's have a conversation down in the comments below. And if you're uh, new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll do lots more baseball and I'm going to have to go buy a, a pop-up L screen because I don't want to get hit by Jacob anymore. It kind of hurts.